all right so we are exactly where we had left in our previous video we had separated out our cli project into sub uh, packages we had introduced greet package and the root and we had moved everything under cmd slash creator now one thing that we missed to do is to move the main dot go under cmd which is its rightful place so let's do that and even now we should not have any issues building our project so let's rebuild it i tried doing that a few minutes ago so here we are we can build and we can also just run it and instead of using mic let's say tom awesome so we are doing well now in this video what we are going to do is write unit test for our application to do that first of all we will need to create underscore test files for our root command and for greet command as well now the root actually has the package as root so for our test project or the test file should have a package called root test that is a general practice so that you are testing your uh, apis or your endpoints as as an external entity you treat them instead instead of being in their in the internal space you treat them as a black box and unit test your apis that's the best practice so we are going to create a function called root uh, let's say let's call it test root command <clears throat> and this is going to be using a package that we already get with the standard library testing dot t the next thing that we need to do is first of all i'll write comments what we are going to do first of all we are going to do is create the the root command which will be like initializing our command that you want to test the next thing that you will need to do is pass on any arguments that we need but our root command does not really accept any arguments other than subcommands but we are going to write unit tests individually for those subcommands so we don't really need any arguments but for the sake of completion i'll add here set arguments if any and then what we're going to do is execute the root command and of course with args if we have set any and the last thing that you want to do is check the output now i have intentionally missed out one thing which we will add at the as we progress in the test so let's start with creating our command so we'll call it cmd and this will be coming from the root package so as you can see this is from greeter cmd greeter from the root and with that we have the import done and we get our root command let's minimize this the next thing that you want to do is set arguments if any which we do not have in our case so let's ignore that we want to execute our command so we'll do cmd dot execute but if you remember cmd dot execute returns an error so let's check for that error as well now if there is an error if error is not nil what we would like to do is just error out that we do not actually expect any errors so let's say unexpected error and you will just print the error itself the next thing you want to do is check the output of our command now how do we check the output let's jump back to root so in here what we are doing is we are print using the print ln function which if you look at the documentation it says that it writes to the standard output so everything that we do as or execute as a root command will be returned directly to the standard output in our root test we have not set any uh, any output stream for our command so we can actually do that in here let's do redirect the standard out to a buffer so that we can capture it 
one of the first thing that comes to our mind is just setting out the output like this set out which set out the destination of usage messages and we can actually use sio.standard out but in that case we will not be able to attain the value that is written to the standard output or the buffer so we, if you want to retrieve that value we want to hold that value somewhere we'll actually have to do a little more work so we can create an std out of our own and we will use bytes.buffer to do that so buffer is actually an or provides you a way of storing your output streams of data and a buffer is a variable size buffer which of bytes with read and write methods so you can everything that is good that goes to the buffer can be read and written to so now what we can do is change this to address of standard out so anything that is now written to the console or the standard out buffer we can actually attain it we can hold it so in here expecting where we want to check the output the expected output will be so this is this value is actually going to be coming from here this is the value that we expect our root command to print and how do we attain the actual value that would be using the standard out and we can do that by using the string method this provides you see return, string returns the content of the unread portion of the buffer so we are comparing the expected output here with the actual output so if the actual output which is coming from the standard out the buffer that we created for our cli to write to if that is not equal to the expected output we would like to error out okay so that does our test let's try and run this and then we will discover what the actual issue is okay so the problem we are seeing here is we ran our test the output that was created by the cli it did execute indeed but the value that we printed on the console was welcome to greater however it says the expected output was this but we got empty string and why is that the problem actually lies in our root itself so if you notice the the print line is actually printing to the standard output in our root dot test we have told our cmd or the command to write to a different output how do we tell this cmd or how do we connect the standard output that we are setting through this command and pass it on to our println function because it's like we are, we want to write somewhere else we are actually writing somewhere else and our print function is not aware where it should write to so the way to fix it is using the f print function so you notice f print takes a io writer f print f as well and f print ln as well so we will be using f print ln and we will be setting it to cmd dot out or standard out so this will write to standard output and just output to the writes the output to the standard out so which we are setting as part of our cli setup in our test project or test file so we can remove this all and now we should be able to test it still fails because it's getting a new line character here which is fine because we are using print ln so i can simply write it as f print f or we can actually add the new line character at the end of our expected output as well so let's keep it print ln and uh, let's add a 
न्यू लाइन क्या रेक्टर एट द एंड ऑफ द एक्सपेक्टेड आउटपुट एंड देवी गो वी हैव अर फर्स्ट टेस्ट पास इन सिमिलर वे लेट्स क्रिएट अ यूनिट टेस्ट फॉर द ग्रीट पैकेज एज वेल सिमिलर टू द रूट पैकेज वी आर ऑल्सो गोइंग टू क्रिएट अ ग्रीट अंडर स्कोर टेस्ट डॉट गो अगेन वी वॉन्ट टू डू द एग्जेक्ट सेम थिंग्स वी वॉन्ट टू क्रिएट The very first thing we need is to create a greet command. So let's again call it cmd, and this time we will be using the greet package, greet dot get greet command. So we have a command with us. We would again like to use the buffered approach. So we will be creating an std out, and it will be of type bytes dot buffer, which gives us the io writer. Now let's set the output. For our command to be standard out, which is the buffer that we have created, and then again we want to set the argument. So if you remember, our greet command actually accepts an argument. It takes the name of the person we want to greet to. So let's set that args using the set args. Now set args takes a slice of string. So let's give it a slice of string. and what we would like to call our let's call it ferris so it will be like uh, it will be passed on as greeter greet ferris this is the command the final command that will be executed it will be uh, greeter which is a root pack uh, the root command that we have this is the sub command greet which we are testing as of the now and the argument that will be passed is ferris now we want to have the execution happen hello ferris and if i remember it right there is a new line carriage yes it it's it's like this so there will be a new line carriage here as well so let's do that and lastly we would like to compare mm, with that our unit test is again ready so um let us run the test it should fail and it did the same issue as it was before uh let's update our greet command to use the the right standard output that we are setting in our command so it will be f f print ln and now that we are using f print ln we actually won't need to set the new line carriage so i'll just set cmd dot out dot standard out and at the end i will remove the new line carriage oh okay it's a, it's complaining about that it's using the formatting but we are not using uh, we are using f print ln so let's change that f print f it should be and of course we will need the new line carriage because we are using the formatting that should fix our test so let's rerun it uh if you want instead of individually executing test from your uh, test files you can actually go and test your every, test every unit test that you have written in your project is using go test hyphen hyph dot slash dot 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 with hyphen v hyphen v will give you a little more information that is useful with the names of the the tests that are being executed so as we can see all our tests are being executed so yep that's a wrap for the current video if you have any questions do let me know thank you i'll see you in the next one